Hi guys, this is Ify and welcome back to my kitchen. We are in the holiday season and one thing I know that we all love to celebrate this holiday season with is definitely with good food. So I thought I'll share my family's favorite breakfast recipe with you this holiday season and it is Yamarita. Everyone loves Yamarita but I have a special thing that I put to mind to make it more special for this occasion, okay? So stick around. But before we start, have you hit that subscribe button? Come on guys, it's the holiday! Make me happy! Hit it now! <laughs> Alright, thank you, thank you. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. For this recipe, we need spring onions, seasoning powder, chili powder, flour. We also need some black pepper, some dried parsley, some salt, some sugar. We need vegetable oil, eggs, my pepper mix, which is made up of green bell peppers some tomatoes, paprika, chili peppers, you know, Scott Bernard peppers. We need mixed bell peppers as well, which has been diced, and my tuba of yam, okay? As usual, I will drop a list of these ingredients in the description box, so be sure to check it out, okay? The first thing to do is to take your tuba of yam, all right, and slice it, guys. This slice should not be too fat, neither should it be too thin, okay? So if you can get the size of, you know, what I have just done, look at it, that's how it should be. That would be a really good place to start, okay? Now peel your yam. Be sure not to let the skin, the peel of the yam touch your skin because that could lead to itching, all right? Now cut the yam into a rectangular shape, just like this. Shouldn't be too slim, not too thin. Should be quite chunky because that is what we need for this recipe, all right? So cut your yam, put it in water to avoid it from browning, and then we can proceed with the next step, okay? Once you're done with your yam, give it a good rinse, okay, till it's nice and clean, and then put it in a pot, okay? Now you're going to add some water into this pot and then to cook the yam. Note that you do not need a lot of water, please, just little, because you don't need the yam to be too soft. What you're looking for is that you want the yam to be about 80% cooked, so do not add a lot of water, particularly if it is new yam okay or it will get too soggy and you don't want that for this recipe okay so take note of that all right so you're going to be adding in some salt add enough salt to taste when you're done adding the salt you're going to be adding some sugar yes this might be the controversial part but guys if you can please add some sugar it really does amplify the taste of this dish but if you rather not add sugar that's fine cook without the sugar it will still come out fine okay so cook till 80 percent done all right once this yam is done you're going to put this yam pieces on a plate all right and allow it to cool down okay so just arrange it nicely on the plate and leave it somewhere to cool because you need this yam nice and cold it will also firm it up if you know you happen to overcook the yam if it's too soft so allow it get cold okay very good so while your yam is getting cold we're going to you know get ready the other ingredients that we'll be using so get your flour okay we're using all purpose flour here please not um any other kind all purpose add your seasonings i've added some seasoning powder that's your chicken bouillon cubes i've added my parsley i've added black pepper and some salt i'm also adding some chili powder guys this is actually your recipe feel free to do whatever you like whatever ingredients or rather seasoning or spices that you like feel free to add it here okay so there are no hard or fast rules to this thing now you know once you're done mixing it just keep it aside and then crack your eggs into a bowl yes we're using eggs for this recipe because we're going to be using eggs to coat the yam all right um the reason why i'm breaking the eggs separately 
and so that if one egg is bad I don't put it into the good batch so I like to break my eggs separately if I'm doing 10 eggs guys trust me I'm going to crack all 10 separately right good so once you're done cracking your eggs put in the bell peppers I'm using red yellow and green bell peppers put it into the eggs add your seasoning powder okay and then give it a good mix the vegetables in my egg really really does amplify the flavor the taste it heightens it so if you can don't omit it okay great so now my yam pieces have cooled down they are really nice and cold all right and then i've put this in the egg mixture make sure every part is coated now put this in your flour mixture the seasoned flour make sure every part of the yam is well coated again and then you're going to put this back shake off excess flour first of course all right go shake off any excess flour and then put this back into the egg mixture and then roll it again all right guys if you want to stop at this point that is totally fine you can go ahead and cook you know fry it but if you want it extra crusty you want the crust to you know you want it more crusty you can do this extra step put it back into the seasoned flour and then end or finish up with the egg mixture okay yeah so put it back and make sure every part of it is nicely coated with the egg and then set it aside so you're going to do this for all the pieces of yam till it is done great In a pan of hot oil, don't let the oil be too hot or it will burn your yam without letting it cook through. So don't let the oil be too hot. Very important, okay? Now drop in the yam pieces and fry this yam till it is golden brown. Do not crowd your pans, guys. If you have a lot of yam pieces, it is best to do it in batches, okay? So just put enough that your pan can take without overcrowding it, all right? And very important tip, do not let your oil be too hot and you can reduce the um you can reduce your heat to medium okay medium so it doesn't burn doesn't cook too fast all right so you're going to fry it for golden brown now guys once we're done frying this yam i'm going to show you how to make a simple and delicious tomato sauce that you can use to accompany your yummy yamarita you didn't think i was going to leave you hanging now did you no way so i'm going to show you how to make a really lovely and simple tomato sauce so don't go anywhere make sure you keep watching all right great so once you're done frying the yam be sure to put it on a paper napkin so it can soak the excess oil great so once you're done you're going to go back to your pepper mixture and then put everything in a blender remember to check the description box for the items i have blended as i'll be listing them there just like i said in the beginning all right great okay so now that you're done blending set this aside but um i don't know if you can see what i'm showing you i'm just trying to show you that the pepper mix should not be too smooth okay all you need is a rough blend of peppers not smooth at all a rough blend will be perfect all right so in a pan add some cooking oil okay allow your cooking oil get hot before you add in your onions and now cook your onions till it's nice and fragrant this will take about one to two minutes remember to cook on medium heat okay it's best to cook that way do not cook on high heat now nah, you'll get the best of whatever it is you're cooking except of course you are searing or you're cooking vegetables which need high heat as your um stir frying but for most of my cookings i like to do it on medium low heat setup you know yeah 
so now put your uh, <laughs> blended peppers into the oil and then you fry for i fried this for about 10 minutes because you don't want it to dry you don't you just want it cooked but not dry okay so add your seasoning powder remember i said we're keeping this simple so you're actually getting the flavors from the fresh tomatoes the peppers the onions the garlic the ginger and um the seasoning powder and some salt you're not we're not overdoing this because the yam is really the star of this dish okay so add your spring onions and it's all done take it off the heat and that's it guys that's it <laughs> And there we have it, a beautiful yamarita and pepper sauce. Hmm. <laughs> you guys already know what time it is. Mm -hmm. It's time to taste this. Okay, so I'm just going to take one of this. Mm. Dip it into this beautiful... Mm -mm -mm. Cheers, guys. <laughs> mm. This is very good. I can't stop eating this. You all need to recreate this to experience what I'm experiencing here. It is too good. Please let me just finish this. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> I'm sure you agree with me that that Yamarita recipe is indeed a special one and it is sure to excite everybody who eats this recipe, right? So guys, if you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you, my online family, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to click that subscribe button, okay? Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family so they too can learn something new. And guys, when you recreate this recipe, make sure you take pictures and upload it on your social media and tag me on every social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, just tag me. And if you want to see any new recipe, please be sure to leave it in the comment section. I'm always reading and I want to read from you, all right? So thank you so much for watching and happy holiday. Bye. Ah, wait. I'm sure you enjoyed watching this video, right? Did you? I'm sure you did. So if you did, make sure you watch this one and you watch that one and click the subscribe button. Okay? Happy holiday again. Bye. <laughs>